For this demo, I'm going to paint this little bear with an ornament. And this was a picture from Pixabay. And there's several things I really like about it. First of all, I think it's really cute. Uh, but I also like the limited palette in that we have just some goldish tans and some reds and white. So as I approach this painting, uh, my plan is to put in a solid background that I will probably um, lighten up in some areas. And I'll make it a color that's compatible with the bear. So it'll probably be in the butterscotch to yellow tan range. And before I do that, I will want to do a little bit of masking because some of the whites in the hat and on the ornament, I do not want to have a yellow cast in those whites. So here is the initial sketch. And I'm going to start by masking here, here, and then some of the details on the snowflake. This is the PBO drawing gum, and I'm just brushing it on. In addition to the areas that I drew, there are several other white areas on this design, but they were small enough that it seemed better to just go ahead and put them in with masking fluid instead of drawing them. And that's this little um, edge, and then a couple other details. For the background, I'm going to use butterscotch, lemonade, and some alcohol that's in this applicator. And I'm just going to do a flow background. This is the butterscotch. And they'll let it dry standing up. With our flow background, I'm going to add some texture. This is a makeup sponge that's been torn in half, and I'm dipping it into some alcohol. I'm going to start with the bear, and the predominant approach I'll have is lifting, but first I need to add in some darker inks to lift out of. So I have some espresso here, and I'll put that in some of the darker parts of the um, bear. So there's some shadowing in here. And I'll be lifting this all back out, so I'm just laying in some color to lift out of. And there's some darker values underneath the paw. Doing the same thing with some caramel. This is slightly less dark ink. But again, I want to be lifting values out of it. Now I'll begin lifting. This is the pointy cotton swab and I'm dipping it into alcohol. And I'm just making some fur-like textures. At this point, I'm going to use the Micron pen to add in the eye. Before doing a lot more work on the bear, I'm going to add in the reds, and it'll be a combination of several. I'll start with Poppy Field, and I'm leaving the masking fluid on at this point. Uh, I'll take it off when we start to work on those white areas. This is a direct painting method, so I'm just painting in a layer of red. And because the yellow is such a light layer, I'm just leaving it underneath it. This is the scarf. And the ornament.
I'm seeing some alcohol. I'll lift out some of the lighter areas in the hat. For the darker values, I'm going to add in some cranberry. This is the honeycomb. This is the teak wood, and it's kind of dried in the palette. I'm going to grab a little bit of it and shade part of the ornament top. This is uh, the honeycomb again, and I'll put some more drops of it in the fur for the bear. So this is an alcohol ink marker. This is a fairly pale color and it works well for fur textures as well and, and lifting. Now that I have a lot of the texture in place, I'm going to work on the value and pull out some of the lights. This is a cotton swab with alcohol. I'll take off the masking fluid. We've got some on the hat, and we've got some in the ornament. For toning the whites, I'm going to use a slightly darker marker and just dab in a little bit uh, of darker values for some of the fur here. To add some color into the white areas, I'm using Cool Perry. I'd like a few of the light areas to be a little bit lighter in the fur. Adding a little bit more Cool Perry, this time with the cotton swab. This is a dark red marker. I'm going to use that for a few more values. I'm going to put the nose in. This is a little bit of ginger. This is the poppy field again. I'm going to add a little bit more intense ink in some parts of the uh, red areas. Now I'm going to switch to some pen work, and this is the sepia pen. I'm going to take the marker and just kind of blend in some of these lines. This is the 
um, pointy swab again and a little more lightening back into some of those areas and then I'll do the same thing with the white pen. I'm just slowly adjusting the fur. And this is the white Signo pen. I'm coming over some of the pencil marks here. And we have some light areas in the fur. This pen in particular often sinks back into the ink, so some of these areas will be a little bit less white looking. So after letting it sit for a little bit, there's a couple of changes I'd like to make. Um, even though in the picture this really looks red, it's kind of bothering me that it's appears thicker than the ornament itself. So I'm going to take this part of the bear from here to here, that red, and lift it out and put in some brown ink. I think it's just a reflected red. But I think it would look better being brown. So I'm pulling out all of the red first as much as possible before adding the brown in. This is a little of the teak wood and the honeycomb. And the pointy swab and alcohol. I think I over this is a red marker. It's a little thicker. What I'd like to do is tone back some of the white. So this is the butterscotch ink. I'm putting it in the weld palette and I'm going to use the cotton swab and I've just put a little bit on the cotton swab and I'm just going to tap over a little bit of the white. And then I'll sign it. It's a life-changing opportunity. Excite the artist with